So guys, I am Nathi. Let's discuss the puzzle probability of having a girl. So the puzzle was in a country where everyone wants a girl. Each family continues having babies till they have a girl. After some time, what is the proportion of boys to girl in the country? Assuming probability of having a boy or girl is exactly same, that is 1 by 2. So there are a lot of ways to think about this problem. But I guess the simplest way is to compare the expected number of boys and girls per family. So expected number of girls per family is 1. That already stated in the problem that as soon as a family got a get girl, they stop having babies. So we just need to figure out the expected number of boys per family. So the, in order to find out the expected number of boys per family, I guess the formula would be the number of boys into probability of having a boy, right? So in one case, it might happen, family got a girl in first chance. That means there would be zero number of boys in that case. So the probability would be zero into one by two, because one by two is probability of having a girl, right? So next case can be, a family got boy in first chance, that is 1 by 2, probability of having a boy is 1 by 2, then it got a girl, that is again 1 by 2, and number of boys in this event is 1, so this is into 1. Next case could be, so this is probability of having a boy and then girl. So in next case, what could happen? It might happen that a family get boy in first chance, again boy, and then a girl. So our number of boys in this event is 2. So two right so this is boy this is also boy and this is girl plus next case would be family got boy in first chance again boy again boy and then a girl so number of boys in this event is three so multiply by three so this is b boy 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 and then girl and this goes on right so we can simplify something like this sn is equal to this term becomes zero right so 0 plus 1 by 4 plus 2 into 1 by 8 plus 3 into 1 by 16 and so on. So in order to simplify this, let's try something like this. Sn by 2 would be, this term would be cancelled. So 1 by 4 becomes 1 by 8. This 2 into 1 by 8 becomes 2 into 1 by 16. 3 into 1 by 16 becomes 3 into 1 by 32 and so on. After this, we can do something like this, Sn minus Sn by 2. So when we do this, so this term remains as it is, that is 1 by 4. And this term minus this term becomes 1 by 8. This minus this becomes 1 by 16, 1 by 32 and so on. So we all know the series, this is a GP with R 1 by 2. So this LHS becomes Sn by 2. And the sum of infinite GP series becomes A, that is first term, is 1 by 4, 1 minus R, R that is 1 by 2, that is 1 by 4 over 1 by 2, that becomes 1 by 2, right? So now that becomes Sn by 2 is equal to 1 by 2, that means Sn is equal to 1, that Sn was actually expected number of expected number of boys so we got something like this that expected number of boys is one and expected number of girls is also one that means boys to girl ratio is one by one